Hi everybody, I'm Betty, I'm Nazim's wife, and he introduced me in this Google Plus thing, and I, I want to show you some of the plants that have been growing the last few weeks. You probably wonder why you want to grow something on the terrace while you are in Milan and in Italy there is so much food available. I, I think I was just curious and I, I have a friend of mine that is very fond of this growing on terraces and uh, she's doing experiments and um, uh, she's trying to, to introduce the, the concept in schools. So slowly, slowly she got him into this, um, this new thing and uh, I'm finding out through the through Google Plus that it's a worldwide movement. So. Uh, I find it quite interesting that a lot of people is getting interested in uh, in doing this, and I want to show some of the stuff that I've been doing, and I'm very proud of it. I'm sorry, it's a little bit noisy, but even if it's Sunday, there are still cars going back and forth. But anyway, these are red radishes, and they're very, very um, easy to grow and they grow very fast so they give you a lot of satisfaction very quickly and I'll show you now they are ready, ready to pick look at this how nice it is nice and red and crunchy and fresh and it takes about two two three weeks to have them ready from the seed and here I have green beans and green beans climb, so if you put them beside another tree like this one, this is an old uh, jasmine tree, and jasmine plant, so when they will grow, they will grow between the other, uh, the other branches. And on this side that I don't have a plant that I can use to, to climb, I put this net, I made it myself with paired um, bamboo sticks. I have a bamboo plant over there so when they get dry instead of throwing them away I keep them to make this kind of nets. And here we have um, cherry tomato. I, uh, I just bought two plants this time because it was a little bit late so I didn't have the time to put the seeds in and I just bought two little little plants and they are growing. They're gonna make a few, a few tomatoes, and I want to try them out. If it's good, I will keep on experimenting. I want to show you my salad. This salad is called Pasqualina. That means Easter salad because it's very tender, with small uh, leaves, and um, it comes out in uh, springtime. So. To be able to grow this salad, you have to have uh, two, three, four, five, as much as you want, uh, plastic vegetable boxes. You can buy them, you can get them from the market, they throw them away, so it's easy to have them. And um, you put a layer of uh, plastic underneath that you have to make sure to make holes in it because the water has to be able, has to, be able to get out, the extra water, and then soil. When you put the seeds, you put the seeds um, in the first box one day and then you wait uh, a week and you put in the second box and then wait another week and put in the third box and go on like this. So that you can put the boxes in a pile. And when you use the first salad, when you get the first salad, you put the box underneath the, the pile and each week you have your fresh new salad. Because this type of salad is not a plant, it's, very, it's a lot of small plants, so you cut and leave the roots inside the soil. So, um, once you cut it, it keeps on growing, so you can use it again and again. And it's a very, very uh, smart way to grow it, because it, it, it gets a very small place in your terrace, because the boxes are on a pile. But the most interesting one, the most interesting experiment I'm doing is the um, potatoes in a bag. <laughs> of course, potatoes need a lot of space to be able to grow. 
So the idea is that instead of making them grow on a flat area, you make them grow vertically. So I got this, um, you know, this um, material, big bags from um, a place that sells um, uh, coffee seeds, so coffee beans. And you first put a layer of soil on the bottom of your big bag, and then you put the potatoes that already have the, the little plants coming out. I don't know the name, but you know, they're, they're growing. So you put the potatoes, two, three, four potatoes for each bag, um, considering of you know the, this the size of the bag I, I think I put like five or six of them and then when the plants start coming out from the soil you put other soil on top let's say 10 centimeters each time to cover up the growing plant and you water it of course and slowly slowly you get to the top and then you let them grow and what happens is that the potatoes, instead of growing on the sides of the plant, will grow on the sides going up. And uh, in a few weeks, I'm going to have my potatoes. And I, I did it with the red potatoes that are very good for um, frying. And these are yellow potatoes that are, are, are good for doing gnocchi. So. This is more or less what I'm trying to do in these days. I also have herbs, but herbs, obviously, I've been growing for a lot of years, so it's not news. This is the real news of the moment. So this is the technical part, but I have a, a little bit of a suggestion for you. I've been growing plants for quite a while on my terrace, and um, uh, it's a little bit like with the kids. It doesn't have to be nice words and nice manners all the time. Sometimes when the plant doesn't do its job, I pass by and I whisper, pay attention, I need the vase. And uh, the plant gets the message and out of a sudden, in a few days, you see it lavishing. So remember that a little bit of threatening works sometimes. Ciao, see you soon. And uh, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon in some sunny Milan and I wanted to show you some of the plants that I've been growing the last week to pick out. Okay. And you put seeds in the, in the soil, but make sure to do it in one week from the other. Uh, I mean the first week to the first of each of phase. And usually it works. The plants start doing its job. And in a few weeks, it still is again. Um, That's a perfect.